Hey everyone, I have some super exciting news. I have officially hired a climbing coach. More specifically, I have joined Lady Beta Coaching's Elevate program for September 2020. So what this program is, is a 12 week training, nutrition, hormone balancing, and mindset work for women climbers. I'm super excited about this because one, it's women focused, and two, it is comprehensive. What really made me want to join this program was the fact that I have never done climbing specific training. I've only climbed and worked out very separately. I love working out, I love strength training, but it felt like it was time to really put that effort towards improving and climbing because that's where that's where I really care about the results. That's where I can see them and feel them and they make me feel accomplished. So for my month one training plan, I have two hangboard workouts and one gym workout a week and leaving myself one day to climb either outdoors or in the gym kind of more socially. I thought it would be really cool to take you guys along the journey of my training program to see how I progress, how I do. So I'm going to be filming this video over the course of my whole program, the whole 12 weeks. Today is officially day one. Without further ado, here we go. So just wanted to like recap week one a little bit um, because it was really amazing. So far, you know, we're still just getting into the workouts, finding where we are, but the mindset that we've already talked about, the mindset work that we've already done is so amazing and already working for me. I went climbing last weekend and I sent my first outdoor 11A. Um, and I also sent a 10C with four roofs. Um, welcome to the gunks in the gunks. Um, I hate roofs. I get so freaked out. I, I just, I pump out on jugs. I like lose my mind and a lot of times I bail. But I told myself as I was climbing, like, I can do this, just channel it, try really hard. What's the worst that can happen? Like, I can do it. I can do it and I did and I sent it and I am so excited um, and I did that again today I was I moved down um, on my 
enduro hangs, um, which is 35 second hang. I moved down from a 45 millimeter edge to a 33 millimeter edge and I was nervous and I doubted myself a little bit, but I stopped, it's like a breath, truly convinced myself I can do it. I said it out loud in the gym five times, whatever, I can do it. I can do this. I can do this. And I did it. <laughs> and it's so awesome to know that you have the strength. A lot of times it's just your mind quitting before your body does for whatever reason. Um, but I'm learning that I can push past that and I can do more than I think. If I just truly believe it, convince myself of its truth, it's true. I can make it happen. progress is being made. This workout, I bumped my slopers down. So I was using the like very easy, I think they're like 20 degree slopers on top of the Beastmaker 1000. So I moved to the 35 degree slopers on the Beastmaker 2000 for this workout. I was like <laughs> barely holding on, but it's good. I My first hang was eight seconds and then my second was 15 and then my last one was 17. So we'll get there and then we had a second push-up challenge five minutes as many reps as possible i set a goal of 65 i got 73 for the more mindset side of things this week we've been talking about fear of falling um and that's like giving me some realizations um which i think will help me in my outdoor climbing because i'm starting to push into following 11s outdoors hooray the last two weekends i sent my first two 11a follows outside at the gunks my game plan to get over my fear of falling outdoors especially trad climbing because my fear of falling really comes from being afraid of dying <laughs> i know that sounds really morbid but like truly climbing is dangerous people die um and i'm really scared of that i don't want that to happen so i have a game plan in place to help me manage that fear um because i think i'm pretty good at assessing risk logically but then my emotions come up and i get really freaked out even though logically i know i'm as safe as i can make myself um so i want to do a few things one start getting some mileage in on like really easy trad leads and then i want to keep following these um moderate to like pretty difficult Roots, so hard 10, easy 11, like keep following those, keep getting that practice in. And then I want to have hard projects that I'm just top roping. And then I also really want to learn more about the gear and the safety and all these knots and self-rescue stuff and things that will give me a peace of mind. But I'm going to be climbing outdoors Sunday and um, I'm gonna try to implement some parts of my training into that session.
just finished my hangboard workout, my last workout of month one, week four. So I did really good on my hangs. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Definitely saw progress with those throughout the month. And I did 84 push-ups for my push-up challenge this week. So progress week over week, super cool. Um, and yeah, so that's it for month one which means we're going into a whole new phase of workouts for month two. Um, and I'm so, so excited to get started with that. But I'm also just so excited with the progress that I've seen over this past month. Where I saw the biggest progress this month is just my mental game when it comes to climbing and trying hard. Um, I love hard climbing. I love trying really hard, especially outdoors and just like fighting for my life, um, essentially. So everything that we talked about this month really helped me um, commit to the things that I want to be doing. I definitely saw progress this month in the grades I'm climbing. Um, I climbed my first two 11 A's on top rope at the gunks and then I climbed my first 12 A at the gunks on top rope and it was just sheer like I can do this. I know I can do this and the other day um, one of the limit boulders that I'd been working on, one of my anti-style boulders, I actually sent it. It was a V5 with a dyno in the middle off of a really bad sloper. Um, and that is like something I would normally just tell myself that I can't do. I'm not capable of this. Um, I'm gonna try the crimpy vertical problem over there instead. Um, but I was working on it the other day and I hit the dyno and I was just like, I'm gonna send this. And I knew it and I believed it. And. <laughs> that it like makes all the difference and i think that's one of the main things that i took away from this month is just that your mindset in climbing is so important and it makes all the difference in the world if you believe that you can do something so i think that has been my favorite thing for month one is that i believe that i can do hard things that's one of the mantras that like our group has been using i can do hard things and i can i know that i can and I'm building up the evidence telling me that I can do these things and I'll be okay. Um, if I fall, I'll be okay. If I miss it, I'll be okay. And why not try? One of Eric's favorite sayings actually is from Lynn Hill who said, 99% of the time I'm rewarded for just going for it. And that's also something I like to think about now. You have to just try. Most of the time it's gonna pay off and you're gonna build up this confidence and who knows what you'll be able to achieve then. I feel stronger than I ever have um, and I'm really excited.